Well, my name's Daryl Birchmore, and I've been collecting James Bond memorabilia now for, oh, since 1979. In 1977-78, I dabbled, but uh, when I started work in 1979, all my spare money went on James Bond memorabilia. And over the years, I've met all six James Bonds, got their autographs. The autographs have led to albums, um, toy cars, toy guns, all sorts of toys, sweets, um, you name it, anything, absolutely anything with a 007 logo. I've decided that the time now is to sell. Um, basically it's taken over my life and my house, uh, much to the annoyance of my wife. But I've got lots of rare items and uh, you know it's time to let it move on and hopefully give other people enjoyment because I know there's still a love for James Bond out there. This collection it's been on public display a few times at the moment it's here at uh, Yesterday's World um, and people seem to have liked the display. Over the years um, it's been featured on television, radio, national and international newspapers, magazines and Desmond Llewellyn, better known as Q, uh, he knew the collection very well and uh, even David Arnold paid it a visit as well. I think uh, the reason why James Bond memorabilia is so well thought of, I mean when you look at the older stuff especially, the artwork it's just fantastic, it's full of action, full of colour, you know, it's just pure boy stuff. The cars, I mean, you know, okay, get away from the Citroen 2 CV and things like that, but when you go to the Aston Martin DB5, what an iconic car. The most iconic toy of all time is probably the Aston Martin DB5 by Corgi, especially the version with the tyre smasher and the revolving number plates. I mean, the play value on that is just fantastic, and it's just a nice piece as well. My favourite item probably is the Corgi Toyota 2000 from You Only Live Twice. Beautiful box, everything about it is just magnificent. And so that's probably my prize item next to my autograph, but with all the signatures. In.